Welcome back space cadets. Let's talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now has a pump going on. Right now it's at $60,300. So it's still at that range where we were talking about before about how it was hovering towards the top of that resistance of this all time high here at 61,700 or around 62,000. So this is the chart I'm talking about this blue area right here where it is the top of our all time high resistance. And also here, this white bar here was previous resistance um, in these last two spikes here towards the upside. So this blue box here is still an area of support, which was resistance these last couple days now has become support. So we're still trading sideways in this area right now. And actually a couple, an hour or two ago, we had a breakout. So if you look here on the 15 minute chart, we can see here this little symmetrical triangle that was forming. Uh, let me just kind of move these lines a little bit better but yeah so we had this little symmetrical triangle playing out going up and down forming this formation and then we see a nice pump to the upside breaking it we're looking for a retest here back here at the 59,900 mark for a continual move to the upside here hopefully going towards this um all-time high of sixty-two thousand dollars. and as we can see here this is just a 15 minute chart but we see our rsi a little bit overextended so it's coming right back down towards the middle um, on the four hour chart, we see it kind of curling up, looking for another essential pump to the upside. And let's look at this chart right here where we have our EMAs and we see a perfect bounce off the EMA ribbon right here. So we can see in this area, we see this area go down towards the top of the EMA ribbon, then finding support and then moving on towards the upside. So it is looking very good. And as you can see here, uh, the EMA has flipped over into this bullish stand where now we're using it as support. And now we're kind of being squeezed between this top target of our all time high and this lower target right here of this moving EMA ribbon. So time will tell very soon, maybe tomorrow morning, but we are seeing a big move coming and all the tea is actually looking for another all time high. So be on the lookout for that for Bitcoin. Remember, if you're going into positions for Bitcoin miners that tomorrow, be on the lookout for Bitcoin for an essential breakout because once it broke out, just like today too, we saw after we saw this pump go towards the upside right here, we saw a bunch of the miners have a pre-market open with about 10%, 15% move upwards for Mar and Riot, SOS to about a three or 4% pre-market. So Bitcoin is going to break out in the next couple hours to days. Be on the lookout for that. I'm thinking tomorrow or Wednesday because of Coinbase's IPO. That is also a big catalyst for the whole crypto space. You know, everyone's going to be looking at this Coinbase IPO, especially because of its huge valuation. So that's why I believe that Bitcoin is going to go up. Just the fundamentals on it. Not only the TA here showing us an ascending triangle, but the fundamentals and the news around cryptocurrency at this moment right now. So let's take a look at Mara first. So Mara hasn't really been doing too much. So let me just take the EMA ribbon out really quickly. So you can see this a little bit better, but it has been bouncing around this area right here of our resistance box now turn support. So a good area to buy all these, all these boxes right here you see are going to be good areas to buy. So we saw a bounce off here, go up here to this fib level of the 1.272 area here at almost $52. We saw rejection and then another bounce towards the upside here. And we actually got here to this point here at almost $55 today, but we saw another quick rejection down here. It couldn't hold this fib level and then it started coming back downwards here. So we're actually kind of just trading sideways in this fib level area. We see volume is decreasing right here, but we also see our sell volume is very low here compared to our high buy volumes here. So that is a very good thing. That is a very good thing to see. We also can see here that this red line that I drew here was our previous all time high. So and we actually ended the market today with a bullish candle right here. We have a long wick towards the bottom, but buyers came in and they managed to bring the price up and have a body here towards the top. So a nice candle here, nice bullish candle, not the greatest bullish candle, but it is still a bullish candle nonetheless, because it did hold above this red resistance line here of the previous all time high at $49. So now we can see continued movement upwards towards our next fib level here once we use this support this 52 dollars as support we can see the next move up here towards our previous all-time high at 57 dollars almost 58 dollars so once we recover this next fib level that has been resistance here for a couple days now we can use it now as support and go up to this next fib retracement level or fib extension level here at the 1.618 at 59 dollars almost 60 dollars so be on the lookout for that 
And like I said before, my ultimate price target is the $64 mark here, this yellow line right here, because that is the breakout price target for this symmetrical triangle that we had here for the last couple uh, months. And it broke out, has since a small retracement right here, still bouncing off a of key uh, support levels and bouncing in between these FIB levels here for continued upside of around $64. So if we draw a FIB extension, we see these FIB lines. All right, now let's do a new one right here. So let's see here. This is a FIB retracement right here. So we do see here also 1.236 as that resistance that we're going and jumping into. So that is also confluent. We also see the 0.382 as support through this. So that is a very good move for the overall trend of this upward price movement. And if we use a FIB extension on this next leg up that we had here the last couple of days, then we can see, see, go back down here. All right, we see the same thing. So we see a 0.78 here as resistance. And then we also see uh, a 1.272 price target of around $65. So $64, $65 is starting to look out good. And we've been seeing here bouncing off this golden pocket area of the 0.618 as support moving upward. So it's still looking like a positive growth trend. Nothing to worry about for right now. I would get bearish if we start to retest and move downwards past this 0.5 mark right here, past $43 going past and not using this symmetrical triangle resistance as support and not bouncing back off of it. If we break back down into it, we can see some more continual downside till we hit this bottom support here of around $35. So be on the lookout for that. But overall, the price strength and the price target is still $64, 64 to $65 in the near future. Hopefully in the next couple of days right here. But uh, also we have the RSI still a little bit a little bit overextended but like we saw before here in these previous runs we saw them in the same area as we've seen before and we see a huge massive move to the upside so that's not looking too worrying about now if we open up our ema ribbon it used it perfectly as support right here and right here so it's looking for continued movement up the ema is saying that it's still bullish and the fib retracement levels are still saying it's still bullish so only time will tell next couple of days we will see this explode to new all-time highs. So be on the lookout for that. Why don't we move on to Riot? Riot here is something I'm probably the most bullish out of out of all these Bitcoin miner stocks just because of this huge, huge symmetrical triangle that has still been printing. Today, we saw very little movement for Riot, um, just still kind of touching this top part of the symmetrical triangle. We have our FIB levels here, our extension from this move towards the upside. We still see it bouncing off here at the golden pocket area okay if we zoom in here we can see that we saw resistance today we saw a potential breakout but we quickly got rejected our body candle is still below this resistance this downward sloping resistance here but we did get a bounce off this golden pocket that we saw here at the 0.618 level we saw it also right here and right here so it's looking like a pretty serious resistance at this point so what we want to see still and we still following this trend line towards the downside it is still looking bullish for Riot. We're seeing it probably going to be squeezing down here until we ultimately reach the apex, which is not very far away. The, the end of this triangle, the symmetrical triangle, is the 20th of April. I don't think it's going to be that long until we see a breakout. I think in the next couple of days we'll see it. And we will see, hopefully, an eventual retest of this previous resistance right here as support and moving up here to our next price target of $76.91. And a total overall price target for this breakout of this symmetrical triangle at $99, almost $100. So we will see soon. Let's also do some more FIB retracement levels to see some other areas where we can see some resistance and support coming through. Let me just take this one out of the way. And let's do a FIB retracement from bottom of here to the top of here. So yeah, so we're seeing a bounce here um, of the 50%. We're about to go lower. We bounced off this 50% level and now we reclaim this 0.382 FIB level. So it is looking pretty bullish. The trend is still strong here. It's just, we see low volume coming in. When we see these big patterns, we wanna see a descending volume like we've been seeing here. So we're starting to flip green on this volume candles right here. So it is looking very good. The RSI here is still in the middle, which is great for us. Gives us more room to move up to the upside before we get a retracement towards the bottom, towards the middle. If we get overextended but it's still looking really good for riot probably the most bullish one out of all of these 
just because it's still reaching its apex and it has such potential to move out. All right, now let's move on to the moment of truth, SOS. And SOS is still looking not that exciting, actually. We've broken out of this uh, descending triangle. We found resistance here at this resistance box, which I've been talking about for weeks now right here. Extreme resistance. We try to reclaim it, use it as support. We found ourselves running into another resistance box to ultimately get pushed back down and bouncing between those till once we broke this resistance box, that's what we saw a lot of downside movement. When you just look at this volume candle right here for sellers, it is just a huge candle, one of the biggest ones we've seen. So we've seen probably probably this buy one is, is one of the biggest ones if we look at it. Yep, this one, our latest pump to the upside. Once we saw that huge pump towards the resistance box, that was our hugest buy volume candle. But let's look let's take a closer look at what's going on in this past couple day or two so we did see a move all the way up today towards this fib level of five dollars and 86 cents of this um resistance box that i've been talking about and we just did not see anything happen here we just saw a quick rejection move towards the upside quick rejection back down here and it is looking like we could actually start testing this area here at the $4.22 area, which has been support here and here. But remember, once we hit support so many times, it could look like a further drop downwards. Be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for us to retouch this $4.20 mark. Um, but I don't think it's very likely, especially because Bitcoin is still in the middle of breaking out. If we look here, it's at almost 6,500. So it is looking pretty good for a little pump right now. Um, but let's also take a look at the EMA ribbon. This is the four hour chart, by the way. So if we look at the EMA ribbon here, we see the same thing happening. Actually, we see the same thing moving up towards this ribbon, maybe using as support, but we saw that quick rejection. And then again, another try, but then we saw another quick rejection here. So it is looking like this resistance box and EMA ribbon are lining up to be a extremely hard resistance for SOS to break out. We're still pretty low on the RSI. So there's plenty of room to grow. And move up to the upside but only tomorrow and wednesday will tell because of all the fundamental news coming out for cryptocurrency we will see sos either take a massive pump and remember these resistance boxes resistance areas are crucial for breaking out so if we see this flip as support i would be very very bullish because at that point once we use this as support we probably see the ema curl up use that as support and then ride it all the way up to this next resistance which is crucial to see a price target of ultimately $12.40 for our first take profit here at this golden box. And then our next one, probably back to all-time highs here at $15.86. So be on the lookout for that for SOS. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed my content, remember to hit the like, subscribe if you like, if you want to keep updated on these posts. That is it for right now. Peace out.